everyone, and welcome to the IIBA podcast series. My name is Amy Riddell. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Business Analyst Times. It's my absolute pleasure to welcome you here today. Our topic is leading change in the age of AI, robotics, and the fourth industrial revolution, the role of the business analysis professional. I am so happy and pleased to welcome our guest today, Yvonne Ruke Akpoveta. Um, Yvonne started out her career as a business analyst and moved into project management and management consulting and is now pursuing what she is most passionate about. She is a change management strategist and change leadership advocate with over 17 years of experience helping professionals and organizations to navigate and transition through change. She is genuinely passionate about change and has worked with a broad range of organizations globally to help lead and manage their strategic, technology, and regulatory change initiatives. Her experience in leading and managing with these organizations, coupled with her exposure to global and diverse business environments, has made her proficient in thinking outside the box to respond to change better and faster. She is also the founder of The Change Leadership, a series of events and conferences focused on preparing leaders, change professionals, and organizations to lead change in today's fast-paced and disruptive business environment, and in doing so, positively impact the welfare of their surrounding communities and economy. She holds um, a BSc Honors in Business Transformation Technology and Marketing from London Guildhill University and an MBA from Warwick Business School in England and a Change Leadership Certificate from Cornell University. Yvonne also mentors and coaches professionals looking to develop their change leadership and management experience. She is a published author, an inspirational speaker, and a change catalyst. Welcome, Yvonne. Thank you, Amy. Thanks for having me on. Great to be here. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, So let's get through it. We have so many interesting things to cover today. Sure. <laughs> okay. In previous com- uh, podcasts that we've run, we've examined the digital trans- uh, transformation, and today we're going to take a closer look at the impact that this may have on business analysis professionals. Yvonne, can you share your perspective on the overall digital evolution taking place and why this should be top of mind for BA professionals? Sure. Um, let me take a step back and let's talk about the um, revolution or the evolution, as we would call it. You know, so we first had the first industrial revolution. That's where we're talking about steam engines and mechanizing power. Then we had the second um, revolution, which was all about electricity, mass production. Then we went into the third revolution, which is the information era and the rise of the internet. Now we're beginning to go into the fourth industrial revolution. And one of the questions I get asked a lot is, how different is this from any of the other technologies we've experienced? So, you know, so why should we pay attention? So with this fourth industrial revolution, we have things like AI, artificial intelligence, blockchain, uh, robotics, um, autonomous um, driving and vehicles. Um, We'll have all kinds of things taking place. But why it's important that we're now paying more attention is because of the exponential um, speed that which is taking place. Think about it. We have the internet today, and with the internet comes high speed that which information is being shared and new practices and trends being adopted. So what before would have taken like so much time to translate or through snail mail or to post. Now something gets released and everybody is on top of it. The trends are there. We have companies such as Google and Amazon, who are doing open source development and sharing. We have um, development around these technologies, which are being crowdsourced. Um, AI algorithms, they're being shared around the world among developers and business leaders. There's no need for infrastructures. There's no need for railroads or highways or power grids for all of these things to be built. So the speed at which it's been adopted and the speed at which it's changing things is what's going to be very different, you know, in this um, new revolution that we're going into. And what's more important now for um, the business analyst, uh, the BA professional, is that technology is no longer something whereby it feeds into the business. Technology is now going to be at the heart of the business. 
So we're not just going to develop technologies anymore and say, okay, what are the requirements and how do those two things come together? We're going to be at how, what technology does the business need and the technology is going to be developed and designed around the um, technology. So those two things are going to merge together um, when we think about the new um, revolution and the digital um, revolution that we're experiencing. Um, so it's not it's, the role of the business analyst is definitely going to move away from just about requirements to saying you know what being at the heart of business putting on a different lens and thinking what do we need to do how do we need to go about it type of thing. So some big mindset shift. Okay. Well, speaking of speed and how the world and workplace are changing faster than ever, um, you just touched on how you described the role of the business analyst in these times. What specific changes are you seeing across the profession? Oh, um, so the, like I mentioned earlier, there's a bigger shift away from requirements and documenting to more focus on the domain knowledge, things like around being that business consultant, things around advisory, things around change leadership. So yes, the business analyst has always had that domain knowledge, but it's always been about, okay, what are the requirements? You know, how do we go about doing this? What does the business want? Um, now it's going to be about how, uh, it's going to be more about domain knowledge, more about the um, business analyst acting as a business consultant to you know the business and saying this is how we can help you this is how we can drive things this is what the business needs so take it as an example already we're seeing things where um, we're working a lot with vendors and with AI robotics and some of these um, technologies we're going to start to work more with vendors you see where I, um, many business analysts I would, let me not say many but you see I see now you know organizations that I'm working with and colleagues who are business analysts whereby they're no longer just documenting requirements. I spoke to, I was speaking to a business analyst the other day, and he said, for the last two, three years, I haven't really had to document any requirements. I've acted more as a business consultant. We bring in vendors who have to do some of this work. So my responsibility is really about understanding the business domain knowledge, being that consultant that tells them what needs to be done, how we need to go about doing it, understanding the business needs, advising what needs to be done, leading and driving that change on behalf of the business. So those are some of the things that we're seeing. Well, as this technology becomes more of a commonplace, like artificial intelligence or automation, robots, et cetera, what opportunities do you see for BA practitioners to actually start leading change and to create business success? Oh, wow. Um, I want to say that they're already in a great place to do this. So BAs already have that innate ability to understand the landscape of the business. And what we will say in the change management or the change leadership arena is, more like they have a good understanding of the business culture. They also have that benefit of understanding technology because they work with um, the technology a lot. So not only do they know have the domain knowledge of the business processes, they often understand the technology very well. So this puts them in a great place where they're able to solve a lot of problems. It, can enable the, it really enables them to become change leaders as you know, a lot of businesses are now going to be modeled around the technology or and, and technology is going to be at the heart of the business. Some of the role, when you think about a change leader, oftentimes you find people think, oh, leadership is only just for people at the top, or leadership is just the sponsor. Leadership is the person who is signing the checks, you know. No, but change leadership is evolving to be a skill set that is required across various levels of the organization. And this is where the business analyst comes in to be more visionary as a change leader, being able to see the big picture in terms of what needs to be done, how do we need to do it, why is this important to this business area. They start to be able to, they are the ones that start to create and own the vision and the solution for what needs to be done. They start to um, employ more of their strategic thinking skills, you know, to say what, think about things more from a holistic perspective. And, you know, um, again, around change leadership, they start to think about their ability to be able to influence others, 
and, and teams are those in terms of what needs to be done. So there's a lot of more people skills coming into play, which they already have, but which they were going to rely on. You know, it's not it's no longer going to be about, oh, this is just for the change management person to do, or this is just for the leader to do. They will have more ownership around some of the things that needs to be done. So essentially, the business analyst will start to have to think of um, themselves as a leader, as one who is shaping the way in which um, um, the work is done, you know, the um, design of the solution, and, and the delivery as well. So taking end-to-end ownership, those are the kind of things that we're going to start seeing. Yeah, you had mentioned um, people skills. Are are there any other specific um, trends that or skill sets that the uh, the BA professional needs to be ready for? Uh, yeah, when we think about that, some of the things that uh, um, we're seeing that is going to be important um, in this new revolution that we're going to as a change leader and as a business analyst will be things around empathy, um, curiosity, being resourceful, um, taking ownership, you know, being consultative. And again, having been a business analyst myself, I see this as real skills that business business analysis um, or business analysts already have. It's just going to be more about bringing these skills to the forefront and being able to apply it to their roles much more. Okay. Well, thank you. Um, Let's uh, switch for a little bit, and let's talk about digital transformation change. Um, the skills and knowledge base that a BA professional is going to need to be successful within that realm. Okay, so some of the skills that they're going to put in, they're going to need to put into practice. Yeah, with, like, with, within like the digital transformation change. Okay, um, so very similar to what I've said a little bit before, it, we're going to be see a shift whereby it's no longer going to be about execution alone, about, okay, how do we go about building this um, solution? And, um, you know, looking at about, um, okay, uh, we're building it and executing it, we're doing requirements, what does the business want, what can the solution do? It's going to be a lot more around problem um, definition so they're going to have to bring in that no, domain knowledge expertise into things. They're going to go back to even some traditional skills around research, you know, understanding the market a little bit more. Um, things we said around uh, taking the lead in so, um, design and solution in terms of this is what works for the business. So they're going to be that business architect, you know, because now technology is in the heart of the business. So it's like, how do we architect this solution? Yes, we're still going to have the technical architects who are looking at the solution and how they design the solution. But we're going to look at um, business analysts more as that business architect because they have domain knowledge. They understand the business needs. They understand. They have a big picture of what is this solution going to mean for the business in terms of enabling work to happen and also enabling the customers and helping the organization be in a much more strategic position. So those kind of things like, um, you know, problem definition, the business analysis that they already have, being consultative, a lot of um, skills around empathy, um, understanding a lot of these um, new technologies that are coming on board, not being able to use it necessarily to say, oh, um, this is how you create an al- uh, um, algorithm or this is how you develop, but understanding the how and the business value. So we're moving more to business value as opposed to just um, being solution-led. Okay. Thank you. Um, So what does a BA professional need to do to be prepared to elevate their role as change leaders? Oh, wow. Okay. What do they need to do? Um, I feel we've touched on um, many of these things. Um, One of my favorite books um, is Who Moved the Cheese? I don't know if you've heard of that book. (laughs) You know, it has um, um, has, um, four characters in it, Um, one of it being him and her, who are these people where they find their job, they find their big houses, and the houses denote cheese. So they have their cheese, they get very comfortable, and they just chip away at their cheese. And one of the things that they fail to do is to look at the, you know, what's happening to the cheese? What's the size of the cheese? In other words, 
is they fail to read the handwriting on the wall. What's happening? You know, is the cheese finishing? Um, but you have um, Scurry or the little rats who they keep on, they, they're constantly uh, analyzing, you know, what's happening to the cheese, what's going on, is it finishing, it's reducing, do we need to do something different? So um, the business analyst, and like any other um, profession we are in today, we need to constantly look at what is changing. We need to start to read the handwriting on the wall. And the handwriting on the wall is saying that AI is coming. And like I like to say, maybe a little bit of a shock um, factor, but I say, yes, they are coming for our jobs. But the good thing about it is that even though AI and robotics and a lot of these technologies are going to take away about 40 to 50% of the jobs, um, like so many of the stats are saying, they're also going to bring in about 40% of jobs, new jobs. So that means that a lot of jobs are going to evolve and existing jobs that remain are going to be different in terms of the way it's executed. Because in some roles, you're going to see now where you have to be more creative. So techno AI and robotics and some of all these things and robots, they will take away the repetitive tasks. They'll take away some of those things that are very data-driven that you, um, the business analyst may have spent time doing um, very repetitive analysis or gathering information. You're going to start to find that technology is going to be able to do those things faster. Where technology, where, where um, business analysts and a lot of professions are going to add value is in being able to bring that creative skills that they have within, you know, that adds value to the business. That's where I say, you know, understanding the business. So a business analyst has to understand how is AI, how is robotics, how is um, all of these technologies in the fourth industrial revolution, how is that going to impact my job? How is that impacting my organization? What does it mean for the processes that are changing in my organization? You're already beginning to see roles whereby um, there are new roles emerging to train robots to train bots in the way they do things. You're going to start to see things where there's a change in organizational design, whereby if bots are responsible for some of these things, what is the business um, responsible for? What, or what are roles in the business responsible for? So there's going to be a merge of some of these things. Um, before, one of the things, um, you'd find that people say, oh, we have legacy systems in our organization, so they feel it's going to take a while before there are any changes to their businesses. But that's not so true. Because I was speaking to somebody else the other day in one of these big banks, and we were talking about um, um, the conference that I have coming up um, around change leadership. And I asked her a question, oh, you have legacy systems. So how do, what does that mean for your organization in some of these new technologies? She says, you know, the bots, the, um, which is based on AI uh, computer programming, are able to interact seamlessly with some of these new technology, um, with some of our legacy systems. So they interact um, seamlessly. So that barrier whereby organizations thought, oh, we have our legacy system, so we're always going to use our legacy system. It's going to be hard for us to move to this new technology. It's not necessarily the case because some of those new technologies can integrate seamlessly with the old technologies and the legacy system. So that's my long roundabout way of saying that you know, the business analyst needs to start to read the handwriting on the wall, needs to pay more attention to all the changes that are taking place around, what this means for their role, what this also means for the skill set that they would need to employ, and um, just understanding the landscape out there and being more aware. And, you know, um, seeing what other organizations are doing for sure. Okay, wonderful. Well, that leads us into our last question then. Um, how can BAs influence or educate their senior leadership teams on the role <laughs> of business analysis supporting change in their organizations? Oh, wow. Um, this, there, there isn't one I, I wouldn't say there's one particular way of doing this, but what I would say is the easiest way to do it is by adding value. One of the things I see a lot in organizations is that the, everybody, not just organizations, every leader wants somebody that adds value. They want somebody that they can rely on, somebody that is a go-to person. And already what leaders tend to do if a solution is needed, if they need to understand whether they should be taking this decision or not or how they should be going about it, 
they will, the go-to person will always be the person that understands the business, the person that understands the technology, and the person that is responsive. So a business analyst, in order to be able to work with that leader and get the leader to recognize them more, is about being able to add more value. And then their role becomes begin to be more recognized in terms of the value it is that they provide. They know that this person understands us, this person can lead this change, this person knows what needs to be done, this person has our back. So by just simply adding value in all of the things you do around having that domain knowledge, having that technology knowledge, being able to be that advisory person, that person who consults, you know, be, um, looking at things very much more holistically, then there's a greater reliance and trust from the leader to rely on that business analyst to say, I want this person on my team. Yes, this person can help us lead and drive this change. This person understands the big picture. They have the vision. They know where we want to go as a business, and there's more reliance on them to lead and drive change. Well, fantastic. Thank you very, very much. Uh, we've come to the end of our time. Is there anything else you'd like to add or anything you'd like to promote? Um, like, like I said, one of the things that I'm passionate about is the ch- um, change leadership. I'm being an advocate for change leadership across the organization, across every level of the organization, and getting people to have that mindset shared that leadership is no longer about just the sponsor at the top leading and driving the change or only the change manager. This is a role that everybody across the organization needs to start playing both in their own personal careers as well as in that role representing the entire organization. And again, that's why we do the change leadership um, conference, which takes place every uh, in May every year. And it's really about helping to prepare um, leaders, organizations, and change professionals and um, such as even the business analysts to be able to respond to respond to change better and faster in today's disruptive business environment. So we're just passionate about driving and leading change. Okay. If anyone was interested in finding out more about this uh, the leadership conference, where would they go? Um, it would be thechangeleadership.com. So that's www.thechangeleadership.com. Or they all on Google, they just search for the Change Leadership Conference or the Change Leadership um, or Change Leadership Conference, and they will find more information. Wonderful. Okay, well, Yvonne, thank you so much for being with us today. On behalf of ourselves here and with the IIBA, we'd like to thank you very, very much for your time. Thank you so much for having me, Amy. Enjoy thank my you. time here today. <laughs> no, thank you. We hope to hear more from you soon. 